Hey guys, this is Mind and Body Health and Wellness Coach and Transformation Specialist Rob Lopakola, and I work diligently with sex addicts who are in the middle of a transition from active sex addiction to a life where they are sober sexually and living a life beyond their wildest dreams. What I do as a sober sex addict myself is I work with them step by step to separate themselves from active sex addiction and then flourish in a life where you are free from active sex addiction and living beyond your wildest dreams. I also help to change the way the person thinks on a deep level. The mindset must change. The same mindset that brought on themselves sex addiction cannot be the same mindset that will free them from the horrific grip of sex addiction to a life of sexual sobriety. So the frequency of your thoughts must change. Your internal dialogue must change. And I'll work with folks and change all of this. So once they experience sexual sobriety, they are capable to live a life free from this active sex addiction for good. And that's what I'm here for. That's why I have this YouTube channel, because I want people like you who are struggling with sex addiction to break free, to finally break the chains that have been holding you hostage to an addiction that is destroying you. It's destroying your self-esteem, your self-confidence. It's destroying your life on some level. I can work with you and I work with addicts and we'll fix the mindset. We'll change the mindset because you can live an amazing life. I was a sex addict for decades. My spiritual advisor said I was one of the worst sex addicts he has ever witnessed. And here I am with nearly a dozen years free from the grip of sex addiction, as well as methamphetamine, which I was addicted to for years, and alcoholism, which I was an active alcoholic for decades alongside my sex addiction. And if I can experience sobriety, you can too. I'm going to talk with you today about the challenge to escape the grip of sex addiction and the challenge to maintain and sustain sexual sobriety. Sex addiction is so powerful and so destructive. And alongside sex addiction comes an immense amount of shame, an immense amount of guilt, and an immense amount of isolation with this disease. It's a disease that no one wants to talk about because the stereotype is you're a pervert or you're a bad person or you're disgusting. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. Think about your own conversation you have with yourself. If you're a sex addict, think about that conversation. What are you even telling yourself about yourself within? Your internal dialogue. I mean, let's be real. Are you telling yourself that you're a loser, you're a dirtbag, you're dirty, you're disgusting? Do you tell yourself that if anyone knew who you really were, they wouldn't want you? Your partner would leave you, your boss would fire you. Do you tell yourself you have to wear a mask everywhere you go? You don't even wanna look in people's eyes directly because you don't want them to see within you who you really are. Aren't you always running from the shame and the guilt running back to acting out sexually because on some level, acting out sexually relieves you. It brings you a level of peace, at least the illusion of peace. It's what you know, it's your safe place. That when you act out sexually, it's your safe place. It's what you know. And on some level, you have created the belief, the illusion, that when you're acting out in your sexually addictive behaviors, the illusion is your needs or your perceived needs are met. You're validated, wanted, loved, needed, desired, nurtured, cared for. You're important. At that moment, whether it's a hookup or a sex club or a strip club, whatever it is you're doing, or even if you're wrapped in fantasy of pornography, the illusion is it's giving you what you believe you need. It's all an illusion. And your current mindset has created the belief in that illusion. It's fake. It's all a lie. And yet you believe it. So we have to change our mindset. And it's exceedingly difficult to do when you're wrapped in the horrific grip of sex addiction. So there's two things I want to talk with you about. The challenge of leaving, saying goodbye to your sex addiction, and then the challenge to maintain and sustain sobriety sexually. 
Sex addiction has become your best friend. Sex addiction has become your confidant. You run to certain sexual behaviors that release dopamine from the brain into the body that you're addicted to. You run to certain behaviors that distracts you from depression, loneliness, and anxiety. And you run to certain behaviors because you believe, you believe that it's giving you what you feel you need, your perceived needs. So to leave this addiction that has such a horrific grip on your life, you must become aware that there's less pain leaving your sex addiction than the pain to stay. Does that make sense? In sex addiction, there are four cycles you go through. Preoccupation, obsession, compulsion, and despair. I talk about that in another video that I'll have the link below for you, and I'd like you to check out that video. But the despair stage is a place where when you're done acting out compulsively, you have the worst conversation with yourself about how disgusting you are, guilt, shame, all of those horrific feelings come during the desperation phase or step in the cycle of addiction. And you have learned the only way to escape the despair stage where you're talking so horribly to yourself is to become preoccupied with acting out again. It can happen within minutes of despair, hours or days. You can be in a very depressed, negative conversation within yourself, state for days before you return back to preoccupation, obsession, and compulsion. Or it could be minutes where your compulsive behavior has ended and now you are filled with shame and guilt and self-horror and you return within minutes to preoccupation, obsession, and compulsion. Saying goodbye to your sex addiction will be based on you facing the truth about yourself and the addiction. And the hardest thing for anyone to do is to face the truth about themselves. So you have to get out of denial and you have to see the truth about you. What's going on with you and your sex addiction? You have to face the truth. You have to take a look at the sex addiction for what it is how it's destroying you. You have to see it clearly. You have to talk with someone, reveal your addiction to someone you trust, bring it to the light. Most addicts, especially sex addicts, would rather stay in the known hell of their sex addiction than go into the unknown heaven of sexual sobriety. Active sex addiction is hell. Sexual sobriety is heavenly. And you must be willing to let it go. You must be willing to face the truth and you must be willing to understand the reality of the pain active sex addiction is bringing you. And you must have faith that the unknown heaven will alleviate the pain and bring you joy and peace and serenity which you deserve into your life. You find someone like me who was horrifically addicted to sex and methamphetamine and alcohol, who has experienced over a decade, nearly 12 years sober from sex addiction. You do what I did to get what I have. You understand that? That's a rule of thumb when it comes to transforming your life. You find someone who has what you want, you do what they do, and you'll get what they have. You follow the steps of what I did for sobriety. And if you do those things, you will achieve what I have achieved, sexual sobriety. Subscribe to my channel right now. I post a new video every Tuesday. Basically a new lesson on strategies and techniques and skills you can learn and master and eventually have a life free from active sex addiction. So for you to escape the horrific grip of sex addiction 
for a life of sexual sobriety. Number one, you must be willing with faith, sometimes blind faith, to leave the known hell and go into the unknown heaven in spite of the pain of that transition. Knowing and realizing when you face the truth that it is more painful to stay in active sex addiction than it is to recover and transform your life. And number two, to maintain sexual sobriety and sustain sexual sobriety, you must have compassion for yourself and change that internal dialogue that a setback is just a setback. A setback is a setup for a comeback. When you have a setback or a slip in an old behavior, because you are developing spiritually, you'll recognize it for what it is and you'll continue forging ahead. You'll wash your hands, hit the reset button, and forge ahead. Escaping the grip of sex addiction is extremely difficult. You've been trying probably for years, and perhaps you feel hopeless. Please, don't be hopeless. You can escape the grip of sex addiction. I did, and I never thought I'd be able to. I have learned techniques and skills, and I have mastered a way to maintain and sustain sexual sobriety in spite of any setback or slip in an old behavior. And I'm going to strongly suggest you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet for a new lesson every Tuesday for you to escape this grip and finally live a life beyond your wildest dreams. I also have for you free on my website a 10-step strategy session. This is a 30-minute strategy session I am offering you complimentary to help you transition your life from an active sex addictive life to a sober life. And I also have for free an ebook, Five Phases of Recovery and Transformation from Sex Addiction. They're free. And if you don't sign in and get them for free, you're crazy. <laughs> Believe me, you will love all the information. I am so grateful that you spent this time and I want you to know there is hope you can recover.